See, I was elected because I appeal to certain cults at school. Uh, you mean crews? No, cults, like the druids. They worship trees? Well, yeah, like, uh, Zed. Zed promised to build them a circle of giant stones. You guys are pulling my leg, right? Uh, Mr. Kilroy, you'd, you'd better not insult a druid. Yeah. I hear they have some pretty strange rituals. Don't say I didn't warn you. No, the whole internet thing has been pretty well screeched to death. I mean, I don't think it's totally Zach, but kids know it's pretty Mr. Belding. Discuss the implications of Hawking's contention that the space-time continuum may be finite but lacking boundaries. This is a question for which gray? Seventh. Pretty basic, really, but uh, they have to start somewhere. Do you like rock and roll? Are you kidding? Rock music? I don't think so. So, uh, what do you listen to instead? Industrial, mostly. Ah, uh, okay, so you mean techno. No, I mean like table saws, power drills, that sort of thing. Right. Okay, it seems to me that, that your slang is based on television situation comedy. Well, where do you think we learned how to talk? Oh, okay. So it's sort of like this electronic babysitter mother tongue, and, and it's stayed with you, right? I mean, it's not like we can avoid it. I mean, all our parents have cable. Plus, everyone on TV's just so happy. I see, I see. Yes, yes, these shows reflect a bland yet idealized world, and the endless reruns provide you with uh, absolute dependability. Or total Bradyness, as you might say. Yeah, yeah, sure, that's exactly what I might say. <laughs> cool. <laughs> hey, uh, pizza's for everyone. It's on my expense account. Hmm. Oh, thanks, but pizza's junk food. A lot of people are on medically restricted diets, you know. Cholesterol unity. So you're not gonna eat this? What was that? What, what was what? The... Nothing. He bought it all. He even bought the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you guys actually think you pulled something off, huh? Well, yeah. I mean, it was fun. If he bought it, he deserved it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even if you fooled Kilroy, he has tons of bosses that wouldn't believe any of this stuff. It's just too weird. Come on, now. They might be a little hard on Kilroy. Find out he's a lousy reporter and give him a worse job. Yeah. Like a paper boy. <laughs> yeah, and then no one will ever take anyone who's 14 seriously again. Oh, well, at least he's gone. We can just forget about it. So what were you up to last night? Uh, Worshipping trees again? They printed it? Mm-hmm. Huh. What are the odds? Wachowski, famous for the day he taught a life skills class in the loin cloth. What? And after accomplished power lifter Steffi Lowe bench pressed the vice principal's Volvo, the Parkview football team considered her one of the boys. What is this? <laughs> Mr. Petrowski, please. Has anybody called the paper? No, no ma'am. We do not have a junior druid league. Uh, no, ma'am. The uh, boy with purple hair is definitely not student council president. Is he? Got like a million phone messages. Really? Yeah, um, Tri County Chronicle, uh, St. George Daily Press, and some guy from Inside Look all want interviews. With me? It says you're the bold voice of a new generation. You're quoted most in the article. Horace, do you know what this means? This could be my 15 minutes! This is so insane! How long are you gonna keep this going? I don't know. For as long as I can, I guess. I mean, should I hold on for bigger bucks? Bigger demands? What do you think? This is such a riot. Why do they buy into this? It's like they want to hear the worst. So we may as well give it to them. You should be steamed. I'm not. I, I should be trying to calm you down. I, I should be wiping foam from your mouth. Foam? Yeah. 
Christine, come on. Look, I hate to disappoint you, but I'm not mad. I mean, Tucker has done a valuable little public service, and I'm glad they printed this. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah, cute. It's kind of a habit. Anyways, you want to get on Kilroy's good side, right? I don't see how this could have helped. Okay. Well, obviously, all Kilroy wanted was some juicy story, right? No matter how stupid it was. Which is exactly why they need a kid columnist. They have no clue. So, I've written another one explaining how kids aren't alien life forms if they bother to listen. Do you think they'll print it? Well, if Tucker tells them that he fooled them, they'll have to run a correction, right? And if they get someone like me to write it, it'll show that they have some integrity. And all I have to do is convince Tucker. No way. Uh, but Tucker, this can't go on forever. Why not? I tell them what they want to hear, they slurp it up. Why not take all the free publicity I can get? I mean, a voice of a new generation is my slogan. You better let me. I'll represent you. James Management. Um, I'm sorry. My client's busy right now. Can I... Okay, okay. Gee. Who is it? Some Kilroy guy. Oh, great. Here it is. He found out. Hello? Yeah, hi. You, you want to see me right now? Urgent. Okay. Um, I'll be right over. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, that was him. Uh, he says he was thinking a lot about the, the article, and he wants to see me and talk to me now. Well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about this. I mean, what if they don't have a sense of humor? What if they have really good lawyers? You know, I haven't had a reaction like this to one of my lifestyle pieces in years. Oh, yeah? Let's see, well, maybe then I, I should explain. I'm just sorry that I have not done it sooner. <laughs> what? Well, I couldn't have done it without you and your insider knowledge. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I think everyone agrees it's time for the truth to come out. W. PKV called me this morning. They want me to discuss the story. <laughs> they want you to go on as well. WPKV. The radio station. Wants me, as a bold new voice of a generation. Me? Are you serious? <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I tell ya. Starting to smell awards, Tucker. <laughs> yes. Okay, here's what we gotta do. This is a call-in show, right? So if we want to keep this thing alive, we call and keep 